Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with just kind of like a mini review on a product that I recently hauled um, and it's the it's a lip gloss and um, I wanted to mention these, talk about these because I was really pleased with the staying power of this lip gloss. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 6 Hour Never Fail Lip Gloss. I picked up two, both of these were on clearance and they're both from the Color of Hope collection or line and um, so I don't know if these are in the regular line or the core line, you know, so this is what they look like. And um, the color that I currently have on is, um, well, geez, they look very much similar to one another. I believe <laughs> I have on the color of hope, which is the name of this one here. This one is a more pink color, and this one, um, they look very, very similar. Let me see if I swatch them on my hands. But um, I will say they are really moisturizing. Um, they are not as opaque as I would say the Lord, the Maybelline elixirs, but they have a very similar feel to them um, and how they feel on your lips. This one does feel like you can feel it on your lips. It's not sticky, but and it's not like slick either. So if you're someone who smushes your lips or rubs your lips together, I probably would not recommend this these particular ones because it's almost like with foundation like you can feel it like after you put it on it glides on really nice and smoothly but then it's like you can kind of feel it setting on your lips so um, if you're someone who smushes or blots or you know goes like that a lot I wouldn't recommend it because it does like start to break it down and it ends up like almost like it looks like your lip, the skin of your lips is like peeling and rolling, off, coming off, but it's, it's just the way the product like kind of, it's really weird, but that's only an issue if you are someone that goes, smushes a lot or, you know, rubs, goes back and forth like that a lot. And also once the lip gloss really starts like breaking down, like if you've been eating and drinking a lot, it did hold up while eating but after a while if you don't reapply it um like immediately after you eat or whatever it does tend to um actually after you eat if you're going to reapply i would suggest taking it off and then reapplying it because it seems like if you're eating something that may have a little bit of oil or something into it and it gets on your lip, that does seem to break it down and it kind of like it gathers in certain areas and becomes almost like little clumps. And then when you if you try to just reapply, it looks really, really gross. So I would suggest if um especially if you've eaten if you're going to reapply it just take it all the way off and, and reapply it now these were on clearance for 549 but um if you check out the cosmetics counter at walgreens which is where i got these walgreens they always have like a you know one of those clear little organizer little buckets full of manufacturer coupons that they will apply to your order if you have some of the products that they have coupons for and I had so she gave me a dollar off of each one um the wand is um like the L'Oreal the caress um lip glosses that they had um so this is what it looks like it has the opening in the middle is like a almost like a teardrop shaped and it goes on really nicely and it does have that curve so you can apply on the bottom lip and it kind of hugs it and then just use the back of it for um, the other part the top of your lip top lip now this is what the color looks like now this one I will say is not as opaque as the um, many of the color elixirs that I've tried from Maybelline and you can take two passes I go over each lip twice to get like a really nice a good amount of color um, and again, so this is Majestic Mauve. And let me just kind of swatch this right next. This one is not as visible. 
like I said, they are they're almost the same color. The only difference is uh, Majestic Mauve has a lot more shimmer in it than does um, um, geez, in the color of Hope. So that is the difference. They're basically the same color. This is more the color of hope on the bottom is just more of a cream finish while this one has a lot of shimmer in it. The and this one is a, seems a little bit more um yeah, they're pretty much the same color. Just one has more shimmer than the other, but I've worn them both. They feel really nice on the lip again. They're not drying at all. I can't I don't know if that would say they last six hours, but um, they do last very close to it. I was actually surprised at how long they did last because it is just a lip gloss. But again, you can feel it setting after, like you can, after you apply it, it goes on really nice and smooth, but then you can kind of feel it setting. And again, you can feel it on your lips. It doesn't not feel like you don't have anything going. You can, you know, you can tell that you're wearing something, but, um, I really like this look and I don't generally go for like these types of pinks, but I have been lately. Um, this is kind of like a my lip color a little bit, maybe more pinkish for my lips, but I do like the look of it um, just for like something every day, not in your face look. So if you haven't checked them out, I mean, mind you, this is by no means a new product. It is new to me. Um, these are really nice and if you do want something where I mean you can drink through this like I was I drink coffee every morning at work and I have a cup that I drink out of so um and I will say that even through the drinking I still had a good amount of it still left so um if you're looking, and I can't remember the color line, if they had like a good range of colors. The main ones that I remember seeing in the regular display were like basic colors. I can't remember if they had like any bright. So I'm going to have to go back and check them out to see if they have any like bright summery or springy colors because I would be very interested. I would really like to check some of those out because the wear is really good on these and they're not drying whatsoever. So... Have you tried these? Um, if you have, what do you think about them? What colors would you recommend that I try? Because I am, although I don't need to be buying any more lip stuff because I have a whole, just a ton of it. And what I'm trying to do is just go through and start wearing more. Because it's like when you find one that you really like, I end up just sticking with that one and not trying the other one. So what I'm trying to do is at least like twice a week, wear some different colors so like a few days a week I'll wear one color and then another few days I'll try a different color and maybe every few days try them out and then maybe let you know what I think I don't know let me know if you want me to do that or not but um because I have found some really nice nudes that I really really love from and one of them is from the Maybelline Buffs line um and then there's another one. I really love Maybelline lipsticks. Those, I've got quite a few of those. Probably the majority of the lipsticks that I have are from Maybelline. And I go to those the most. So, yeah. That's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. And have a great day. Bye.